back to yet another video. This is Richard Diaz. For those of you, for those of you who don't know, I'm a realtor here in Connecticut. I can also connect you to any realtor that you might need nationwide, as well as if you're looking for a cash offer on your property. I am connected with a network of investors as well here in Connecticut and nationwide. So feel free to reach out to me, comment or email me with the link below. Definitely. We'll be able to get you situated and get you that property sold. So without further ado, we're going to touch on something real estate related today. And that is how you can get your offer accepted in this very competitive seller's market. I know you guys have, have, have probably seen it on Zillow, on Realtor.com, on Trulia, wherever you get your real estate information. There is low inventory. There is low inventory and the interest rates were at an all time low, but now they're starting to slowly but surely creep up. So it is still a great time to buy. They're still just a slightly above the historically low interest rates. But we're going to talk about how you can get your offer accepted in this very competitive market. Number one, would definitely suggest speaking to your realtor and speaking to your lender to see if this one would be you know, willing to do for you if you were comfortable with this is waiving inspections. And what that means is if the property is, you know, in good shape and you feel comfortable going forward with it, you don't have to do the inspection. It is recommended, but definitely don't have to do it. If you feel like you really want the property, you can actually waive the inspection contingency depending on what type of loan you are using. And essentially what that does is it looks a lot better to the seller because along with all the other contingencies that you may have and maybe the people who are the buyer other buyers who are competing with you have that inspection contingency there so that might look more appealing seeing that and compared to the next offer that maybe has slightly the same terms the seller might be more up to go with your offer so waiving the inspection contingency the next one is actually waiving the appraisal contingency or going slightly above what the appraised value is so you can always have an appraisal but appraisal contingency and appraisal are not the same thing appraisal means you just want to see where the value of the house is appraisal waiving the appraisal contingency does mean that you don't you don't really care what it comes in at you're still willing to proceed with the purchase so what you can do is you can have it you can go a little bit above the appraisal so say let's do uh easy numbers here so say your offer was at nine um, ninety thousand dollars right and the appraisal comes in at a hundred you can put it in the contract that you will go up or no let's say your offer is at a hundred thousand. Sorry about that. And the appraisal comes in at a hundred. Or no, the the um the appraisal comes in at ninety thousand. So that's a ten grand difference. So what you can say is, I want to you know I can I'm willing to go up five thousand on the appraisal value. So because the appraisal came in at ninety thousand you're opting to put up five grand additionally of your own money so that you can tighten the gap most people do not put that so your offer will look more appealing if you really like the house this is one of the ways that you can actually put your foot into the door and do a little bit more so that the seller can pick yours and then uh, another one that i wanted to to mention as well is this one is when you're writing, also when you're writing your initial offer is the escalation clause. And so what that means is, say I submit an offer for 100,000 and Joe submits an offer for 105,000 for a property worth 110. So it says that you are willing to go up a certain X amount compared to the highest the highest um other offer 
up to a certain amount. So say for instance, we'll go ahead and, and use this example. So we're at 100, Joe is at 102. I could write in the contract that I am willing to go 5,000 over the highest priced offer up, up until 115. So because Joe submitted 102, we're gonna go automatically to 107. So that means that we're we're at 100, but because Joe said 102, we're at 107 up until 115. So there was if there was an offer at 115, we wouldn't tack on 5,000 on that as well. So this is very very useful to use because it could save you the deal. Because in this market, it's not like a regular market where you submit the offer, the seller comes back to you with a counter offer, you go back to them with a counter offer, and you guys meet in the middle. More often than not, in this market, you're only getting one shot, one opportunity to get your offer in there for your client. So you might as well make sure that you have all the contingencies that are going to be to the best favor of yourself. Because if you do want the property, you have to make sure that your offer is strong, your offer looks good, and your offer looks great compared to the other offers that are competing with you. So definitely, we'll run back through what I just said. Waiving the inspection contingency, waiving the uh, appraisal contingency, and submitting an offer with an escalation clause. So all these three things can definitely help you win up over the top over your competition, over maybe the next buyer that say, you know, has a little more appealing offer, this will definitely help you get that little hump that you need to get the win in terms of getting the property. So hope this helped. Definitely check with your realtor, check with your lender before you do try to apply any of these methods that I mentioned. But thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for sticking around. And if this provided any piece of value to your life, feel free to like, comment and subscribe below as well as share this with a friend share this with a colleague share this with a family member i definitely will appreciate that well this is richard diaz and i'm signing off i'll see you guys on the next one